All right, all right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. And now we are joined with our second guest of the day, Darwin. Darwin Bawari. Bawari. Darwin, so where are you from? I'm from Kurdistan. Oh, Bo is not ready for you. I said Bo, we ready? He said we ready. Yes, sir. I think Bo's ready now for you. All right, so I'm from Kurdistan. Oh, okay. I'm originally from Nash. Not Kazakhstan, Kurdistan. 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 Yes, Where is sir. Kurdistan? So we are in between Syria, Turkey, Iraq, and Iran. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And we're kind of like at Can you war. talk just a little yeah, bit just more bring closer? It closer. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can stretch it. It gets yeah, closer yeah. to you if you want to oh, lean yeah. back. Yeah. Yeah. So like, we kind of at war with all four of them. Oh wow. Hmm. And it's crazy out there man it's a, it's a crazy ass conflict out there mm. how long have you been here in america i was actually born and raised in nashville tennessee i'm okay. first generation oh so bo is very he's influential you see him yeah. bo's also from nashville the last guest was from tennessee so he's just on a tennessee booking spree are you okay. also fighting on tristar promotions i have not i don't know if i ever will we'll see what does that mean? Have you been talking to them? No, but I'm looking for opportunities. Oh, well, you definitely everywhere. need to you need to get with them cuz they're out of Oak Grove. They're all over Nashville and Tennessee. They're the ones doing the most shows out that way. Yeah. So you've never talked to them? To be honest, no. Mm. I haven't. I would like to though. I wouldn't turn nobody down to be honest. So, what are you pro amateur still or So, I I got a regional Golden Gloves win. And after that, it, man, I was nine to one, eight knockouts. As a pro? No, no, as an amateur. So I came out here, COVID hit. It's just been a, it's just been a process. So you haven't turned pro? I haven't. I've been working on it. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So how close have you come? Very close. I mean, dude, I've been sparring a lot of pros. Some of these guys you guys see on TV. Like, like who? who? I mean, Shreve Bulgari, okay. you know, Charles Hinman Tilly, you know what I'm saying? Some good guys. Okay. Juan uh, Heraldez, you know, it's been some great So you're at the Spartan. Mayweather gym? No, I'm not at the Mayweather gym. I'm at DLX right now. Okay. Yeah, but, you know, just getting a work all around. Okay. Trying, you know. Nice, yeah. Absolutely. Styles, experience. So what's your weight class? I'm, f I'm trying to get into that 140 category. We'll start off there, see how things go. I was fighting at 155. Wow, yeah. your seems short. I know. How tall? Five six. Not the weight class for you. Hey. But Canelo's five six. Hey, Mike Tyson was the shortest heavyweight too. Mm. You so you punching like Mike? Can't bring up Mike unless you a puncher. Hey. Dropped a heavyweight with a body shot before. Mm. True story. Was he a real heavyweight or he just weighed heavy? Six three. Yeah, he in good shape. About two twenty. Wow. And he's a real boxer. I don't know about that. But oh, he, he so was, he was just a heavyweight frame. But, yeah, and he was he, he he knew how to throw his punches. That was here or over there? Over there. Okay. okay. You know what I'm saying? Just kind of one of those guys walking into the gym and just they've been sparring some people I heard and I had just come off of an injury and came in and bro wanted to spar, let him know I was experienced. Damn, you got in there with a heavyweight. You crazy. <laughs> yeah, I, I be sparring a lot of bigger guys. Mm. So, so what's the goal what's the plan like how do you move forward so right now i'm with augie sanchez he is is that the guy we just interviewed no, no but it's not Rocky jimenez that we interviewed oh. yeah no nah, no nah. uh yeah augie uh was working with hasin rahman jr as well uh in preparation for that jake paul the, fight. the dude that was doing the pass that day yeah. we was there Yes, yes. Like kind of like a baseball cat, white man? Yes, correct. Got you. So what's Augie saying? Augie's saying some good things, man. We're about to get some stuff moving. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just right now, like, I've been But moving in the stuff. amateurs or no, moving no, no, in no, the I'm pros? No, I'm with amateurs, man. That stuff, you know, I, I ain't disrespecting nobody, but that was a piece of cake. I mean, you only had nine. How is it a yeah, piece of cake, champ? Just, this is like a whole bunch of other... Bro, I've been, been sparring some good people, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, experienced fighters. Fighters with, like, 30 pro fights. And I only had two amateur fights. You know what I'm talking about? I grew extremely fast in the sport of boxing. I learned very fast, and I learned a lot. How old are you? I'm 25 right now. 
You sound cocky, champ. Who you been in there with? You Man. sparred Devin yet? Nah, I mm. ain't sparred no Devin. What, you, you got some hand, some work with Gino? Being out your gym, he in your gym, man. It's about a four. Oh, yeah, yeah. Actually, you Little know, I, Gino? Was, I was in there uh, moving around with his dad. Like, uh, oh, we were nah. next to each other, shadow boxes. So I was watching him, man. He, no, his dad is the truth. Yeah, his dad moved different, man. Yeah. I, he got that snap on his punches. Mm hmm. And he got sold, man. He was a slick, slick fighter. Mm -hmm. It was crazy. I seen him, man. So, Augie's telling you you could take it to the next level. Yes. He sees it in you. Yes. I had some problems before this. I had broken my nose. Mm. I never went to a doctor for it. Mm. So you just let it check. heal. Yeah, it just kind of been. So now you ain't breathing right? Yeah. I'm fighting with this thing, man. Right? I don't but, even, it, it don't even hurt no more. I can breathe, you know. I've learned to adapt to this. Mm. So what is your ultimate goal? Like with boxing, obviously uh, you get in a real, a real late start. Yeah. So what is, what is the ultimate goal? Because you right. haven't fought, I mean. In, in what, at least two and a half years? Yeah. So what's the ultimate goal? Because you got to get things moving, man. Hey, I, I hear y'all. But this first fight is the first thing we're trying to get down. As soon as we get our foot in Pro the door. Pro fight. Yes. As soon as that happens, my foot's through the door and it's, it's just game over. From so there, what's holding going. you back from that first fight? Getting a, a team together. Getting the camp going. But what do you mean? Don't you got Augie and DLX? That's my the team. My dad's not here yet. You know, I got I got some stuff, you know. Where's like your dad? Like what? Oh, my dad's in Kurdistan right now. He about to be back in like a week. Okay, only a week. Yeah. That's guaranteed. Guaranteed, man. Hey, I've been, I've been watching So, I mean, lot. so in a week, it, it, you could start planning. He coming in a week, you could start getting the fight. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. We've been doing that. We, we think about heading over to Mexico. Oh, okay. So you're willing to pay for your opponent? First fight, second fight, you know, and then come back over here. I'm going to give you the number of TriStar, man, so you ain't got to go all the way to Mexico. Hey, I would love to go back home and fight. Tennessee's where is that, man? Yes. They're doing big things in Oak they just had, They just yeah. had they Big, big Baby, baby over there. there. They, they just had Big Baby there. Miller. They just had Big Baby Miller mm -hmm. on their card. Yeah. yeah. And the dude that was lead sparring partner for Jake Paul, Rydell, Super Maze Hayes, oh, was the co-main. I actually know that guy. That's that's my man's right there. He's cool people. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Real good guy. Yeah, so he was co-main on that, and then Big Baby was on that card. So I'm shocked that Bo, being from Tennessee, didn't give you James Payne's number, who works with TriStar. I got it. You could have been, yeah, you could have been fight, you could be fighting hey, next left, week, bro. I left 2020 as soon as I got here. Maybe a month after that, COVID just smacked everything out the mm -hmm. way. I had a couple good opportunities. I ain't going to lie. I was supposed to fight on ESPN in LA. COVID canceled that out. And then I had another opportunity in October. What, what card was that? I don't remember, man. I was at the Microsoft Theater. Mm. It was, I was supposed to get a four-rounder. Okay. But So, man, no manager. With Abdullah Mason no manager, like no promotions, nothing. Just me and Augie and my dad so far. Nah, I mean, you got to keep it like that right now, you know, because... It's the start. Too many hands in the pot. True story. You ain't lying. I agree with you, man. It's, it's hard, you know? So why are you waiting for your dad? Was he like an amateur boxer, a former fighter? What? My dad actually used to train with Buster Douglas. Okay. Back in Ohio. Hmm. And my dad, you know... So your family's been in America. Yes, my dad came, I want to say, late 70s. Because your English is phenomenal to be from... I appreciate that, boss. Uh, wherever you're I mean, supposed yeah. to be. I mean, he was born but here. But he was yeah. born here. His, yeah. his English is of... Uh, I mean, but you know how it is. They could take you back, too. Like, some people were born in America just true. for that blue passport. Then nah, they take their yo, ass back yeah. to their culture. Very true. I, I, I have a friend who literally was born in New York, mm -hmm. and his mother, three months later, took him back to DR, and he didn't come back to the States till he was 18. Yeah, because a lot of wow. families or want 17. you to be raised in that culture, mm -hmm. because over here is a little crazy, man. America is a little crazy. So it's a wide open, man. These children go ape shit. But why boxing, man? I mean, like he said, late start, brutal sport. Ooh. I mean, you don't have any other skills that you think would have made off. you successful. Is this what you feel and believe you're the best at? I have accomplished so much in so little time in boxing. I started off actually doing Taekwondo when I was a lot younger. Mm -hmm. I got into a lot of fights as a kid. Uh man. 
I wrestled for a long time, and then next thing I know, my my dad was like, just try boxing, you know. I, at first, I was doing it for a weight loss thing, and then I started realizing I'm a little too good to be, you know, just doing this for weight loss. And the next thing I know, he's like, Bo, is this man nice? Because he keeps saying how good he is, bro. I never met him before. What the fuck? <laughs> I never met him. So you just bringing in stragglers. This guy's crazy, man. How do you know? He, is he the real deal or what? I just do what I'm told, bro. Hey, come hey, to the gym. I seen him on the- uh, well, When you, when you, when's yeah, the next when time you, you sparring? You, you be working? training after four, I'm, don't you? I'm in the gym. But when are you sparring? Today, tomorrow, the next day. Who? Man, don't nah. no fighter <laughs> spar every day, bro. I, no, I, I ain't going to say I spar every day, but I'm going to be in the gym yeah. every day. Okay, but so when is sparring days for you? Whoever walk in, whatever Augie said, you sparring today. No, I hear you. Sometimes it is the trainer that dictates. Yeah, but you guys don't have like set days. Set days, so your body's he, not. He lets me know. Okay. I just come in, I work when that day is either conditioning, it's either sparring, it's mid work, it's something. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, no, that's. Yeah, we're going to have to come yeah, see it because you're cocky as through. hell. I want to see you. Uh, I, mean, I want to hey, see you, you gotta shine. Little, you got to be a little confident in yourself. No, you, you do. Know what Absolutely. I'm Absolutely. This Absolutely. is that sport. I mean, if they're not going to believe in you, you got to believe in yourself first. Yeah, that's sure. how it works. Because if you don't believe in you, nobody else will. So. Exactly. I, I've been in some wars, man. In the gym. In the gym, man. I've been in some I mean, war. is that good, though? Yeah, it's experience. What? You learn things. But you losing, you losing, you losing in the gym, not in the ring. You know, you losing rounds, box you right? in the gym. Hey, you right. Versus making them count on your pro record. But I get you. You got to get that experience some way, especially since you didn't get it in the amateur. So, yeah. you know, you're going to have to work for and, sure. And Nashville, it got to the point, man. Some of, some of the fights, like, people wouldn't even show up. To the amateur fights. They wouldn't even show up. Why? Because they knew you was about to knock them out. Literally. I got... Well, I, I used to go to smokers and just, like, finish two people off at the same time. Like, back to back. Mm. Oh, I thought you meant, like, you was fighting two guys in the nah, ring. Nah, no, 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 no. Like, he'll go to smoker shows yeah, and yeah. fight twice on one show. Now, for those... Because there, there's going to be people listening that doesn't know what a smoker show is. So... Mm -hmm. You fought in one. Can you explain what a smoker show is? So a smoker show is basically like a bunch of people will show up from different gyms and you'll match up with your weight class and experience and you guys basically just go at it. So it's it's like an exhibition. Uh, exhibition? Exhibition. Yeah, I got you, got you. Yeah. Okay. So so how many smoker shows would you say you fought? Because many people Four. couldn't. Okay. Many people would consider like a smoker like an unsanctioned uh, amateur yeah. fight, basically. Yeah. You know, so okay. You know, just wanted to let the audience know because I'm sure many people didn't even know those things existed or went on. So. Yeah. So definitely uh, looking forward to yeah, man. I'm not gonna lie, I'm ready to see because you definitely talk you, you you talk that shit. So I definitely need to come see you get some work in, and if you need some sparring around your weight class, let us know. Oh, let hey, us know 140 hey, at dlx 140 man oh he i mean i don't know who's at dlx at that weight oh i don't know about dlx i'm just saying in vegas there's so oh, many yeah there's so much man i've worked with some very good people have you worked with keith hunter keith hunter no i, I did work with kevin henry okay coach kevin henry yeah me and him was working for an entire i thought he's saying kevin johnson the kid that, oh, uh, no no i know you talking about yeah no now, Coach, you know Coach Kevin Henry, be with Michael Hunter and whatnot, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. work yeah. with uh, Michael Hunter and whatnot. Okay, but no, man, definitely uh, gonna keep an eye out. Definitely For gonna sure. have not to come much, check check you out. Exactly, there's not much more to say. We just have to see what it is you can do from this point, and then report it back to our audience and hope that you do get a professional fight. We will give you the number two a promoter that will be more than willing to, to work with you, but you know how it is. It's no different than Mexico. You're going to have to pay for your, oh, yeah, your yeah. slot. I mean, hey, but at least like it's that. TV. It'd be like that, At though. least it's TV, though. And it's in Tennessee. And it's in Tennessee. Hey, you got to work for what you want, right? Absolutely. That's how life works. But you being from Tennessee, if you this knockout puncher that you are, you know, guys like Rodell, who you do know, they don't pay because they sell tickets. If you sell tickets, you can make... Some oh, money with this company. I'm sure if I go back and fly home, you know. How long has I'm, it been since you've been crowd. in Tennessee? Oh, man, I ain't going to lie. It's been about two and a half years. But you still, so do you have a lot of family out there or? Because I know. I, I have a lot of friends out there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But my family, my mom's side is all back home. And gotcha. my dad's side live uh, over here in San Diego. Okay. 
Okay, I got you. I got you. Yeah, Chan, well, let the uh, people know where they can follow you. Definitely going to have to, you know, keep up and, uh, mm-hmm. you know, come check you out. Hey, I appreciate y'all for having me on this platform, man. For sure, yeah, man. Hey. Uh, we wish you the best of luck, man. I hope you get these, uh, you know, these fights and get this career moving. Yeah, man. Hey, I can't wait. I know it will be a great career. For sure. Just stay tuned. I'm telling yes, you. Yes, sir. Let the, IG? Yeah, let the people know where they can follow you. At X Iron Fist X. X Iron Fix Iron Fist X. Well, all right, we'll be right back. Take a quick intermission, and we'll be right back to take some calls. What up, YouTube family? Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Help us get to that million subscribers. We're on the road to a million, and obviously, we have other great content on our Patreon channel. So, since this video is over, head on over to our Patreon and check out all the exclusive content, or right here on our YouTube members.